All right, welcome back. We are going to be doing a little cleaning and we call it meal prep for Opie. So Opie likes, the dog is Opie, if you didn't know. He loves bones and really the only toy he can have because he destroys and eats them. So what I like to do is stuff them with like oatmeal or oatmeal with peanut butter, oatmeal with applesauce, different things like that, just to make it fun. And then I freeze them and it takes him a little while and he loves it. So I do all the bones in the house at once, toss them in the freezer, and then I don't have to worry about making them every day or every couple of days. So that's what I like to do. I like to stock up on bones and stuff them, get them in the freezer, and then in a couple hours, he'll have his favorite treat. So I thought I'd bring you along with me and you can kind of see a little bit of how I do it. All right, let's go. So I start with just a huge bowl of oatmeal. Today I didn't put anything in. I might toss some applesauce in there just for fun because I have some. Um, and then I kind of wait till it's comes down to room temperature just so it doesn't like scorch your fingers, of course, while you're doing it. But then I bring it over and just kind of stuff the bone. I use a knife of some sort because it fits in the cracks and crevices of the, some of the bones are bigger, some are smaller. So let's get it rolling. Let me find some applesauce. Let's get my bigger spoon, mix this applesauce in. It's a messy job, but it's worth it for my best fur friend. Huh? Oh, buddy. I even, to be frugal and a cheap, cheap and um, smart, I reuse the bags that I put his bones in. Just because that's the only thing that ever goes in those bones, and then everybody knows where they are and things like that. Okay, so I just grab, like, you know. A little chunk or whatever I can get in there at the first. Hold it at the base and just start cramming them in. I try to fill it like as tight as I can because, you know, first there's more oats and applesauce for him, but it also takes him longer to eat it and keeps him busy. So, so I do, I just kind of cram it all in and I flip it over, see if I can cram some on this edge. Scrape it off a little bit. And then I just pile them into bags until I have all of these. Quite a few today, which is great. Then hopefully, you know, and I give him like two, sometimes three or four bones a day, depending on the day, depending on what we're doing. Um, so it's just a really nice treat, a little snack sort of for him. Also makes a huge mess on your counter, but that's fine. Easy surface to clean off, not a big deal. Let's check out the finished stovetop that 
took all of my arms and Madison's arm strength for the day. Let's switch over. All right, that is the finished product. It's not perfect, but let me tell you, the difference is huge. It took all the arm strength of me and Madison, but that's all right. We got it accomplished. Get my candle put back. I got this wonderful new candle that I'm absolutely in love with called Hello World from Kohl's. It smells perfect for spring and I just love it. All right, let's see what other cleaning is going on in here. When you can smell oh, come on. He's just finishing up vacuuming. She's gonna mop, but he's gotta be the sprayer. All right, here's the finished lunches. Mason has cottage cheese, oh, cottage cheese, a little bit of pickles, or what are those, uh, peanuts. And then he has just regular American cheese, mayo and pickle. And then Madison has the same sides, but she has just mayo and the dairy-free cheese. And I'm just having organic vegan mayo, pickles, and the dairy-free cheese is all I'm gonna have. All right, now it's time to take this crazy dog for a walk and I got my little walking friend with me. Say hi, sis. Hi. All right, let's check out Opie. So we are gonna walk Opie, try to get him about a mile, because hound dogs, they need their exercise. Sure, it's about a thousand degrees out here, but he doesn't care. He's happy as can be, so we here we go, let's get our walk in. Hey everybody, we're doing a little bit of a grocery haul today. We just ran into Aldi real quick and Woodman's grocery store and this is what we got. All right guys, this is the grocery haul. Uh, we needed to stock up on dairy free items. So to start off with, I have, we found this new dip, queso, dairy free. Super excited to try that. And then Violife is my favorite brand of the fake cheese. So we got a couple different options. I got cheddar slices, smoked provolone, and then two bags of each of the shredded cheese, the mozzarella and the cheddar. Delicious. We got three bricks of cream cheese. And then I got two of these bags of the chicken fried steak. It's, they're like so good when you put them in the air fryer. We did it with mashed potatoes one night and then we tried it on a sandwich. We loved both. It was incredible. Also the dairy free, we're doing cashew silk for drinking. And then we got some bagels, some pickles. We got some cheese for the regular cheese eating people here. Um, we also got some lactose free items cause we're trying those for one of our kids. So we got some lactate cottage cheese because he just can't live without cottage cheese, he said. And a couple different lactose-free yogurts for him. And then Madison, she got to pick out a couple yogurts for herself. Got some things to make enchilada sauce. We got some enchilada sauce. We also got some refried beans and a nacho cheese sauce. But back to this stuff. Let's see. We also got this new, I've never seen it, but... The boys are really excited for this spicy habanero sauce from Taco Bell. Um, ooh, then we got these Mrs. Fields break away and just bake. Oh my God, it's just like at the actual Mrs. Fields. Incredible. Then we got these snack beef stick bites. They were on sale and there's a coupon. It was a super good deal. Um, 
Then we only needed a little bit of produce because we already had quite a bit. So we got some fresh tomatoes and strawberries were on sale. So I got some of those. Two treats, honey buns, some peanut butter ones. Jake, my husband picked out these buffalo style zings. I think it's so funny that it's not called wings, they're just zings. And then at Woodman's, they had these cake mixes on clearance for 50 cents. They're still in date, so I'm going to quick make those up. Maybe make them into something other than a cake. Maybe cake pops. I'm not sure. Then we also found these. I just happened to be walking by. And they're milk and chocolate wafers. They were only like 99 cents for this big bag. They are heavenly. All right. That's all we got today. This will last us a little while. The dairy-free items will last a couple weeks, which is awesome. It wasn't really like a weekly monthly haul or anything it was just kind of some things we needed and a couple items we saw along the way that just kind of struck our fancy all right see you guys in the next one